Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with... PSM first, Mick at your service. <laughs> and welcome... <clears throat> welcome back to Guacamelee 2. And yeah, let's move on. <laughs> Wait, how did we forget to someone? Hmm? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, the, the, I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with... <laughs> No, no, I would have said my part. Uh, oh, all right. You... Uh, I, I might be a bit overdressed because my, <laughs> I think the heat is going through my head. Hello, there, Glacier Boy. Oh, dear. And to uh, you, Glacier Boy, we, we pirates are never late. We arrive just in time. Yeah, to raid your village. Warships. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, last time that we played this game, we start got started on it, and uh, well, it turned out that Juan and Lupita, as the president's daughter was uh, actually named, uh, yeah, they started a family, had two kids, but now uh, apparently <laughs> there's trouble going on in the Mexiverse, and apparently our Juan is the only one in all of <laughs> all of existence who is still alive. Yeah. Okay. Let's just continue on where we left in the Jade Temple, where we had just kicked. Uh, <laughs> we just kicked uh, Muneko. I think it was Muneko his ass. And uh, yeah, we were going to head over here to go get the actual relic since he got a decoy. There it is, the Jade Relic. Looks like an overly complicated Lego brick. Together again, just like the old days. Look out, Salvador. Something this way. Oh dear. And <laughs> this is Glacier Boy and Yoi my yoke. Oh, our yoke in this case. Okay, we we haven't regained the ability to jump between the world of the living and the dead world yet. So we have to rely on those portals around. Let's see. Something here. Oh, okay, oh. the chicken can dodge now as well. Nice. Let's see. Where are we supposed to go? Okay, we're going to about <laughs> we're going to go back. To the uh, the Council of Goat guys. Okay, big shiny chicken. What the heck? I just went to put away something amidst a chicken. Nope, just this big ass chicken statue that opened its mouth. Oh, that's it. And well, hello. okay, I'm not too sad then. Wait, I... Okay, we can't turn back for some reason. And... Wait, <laughs> we can <laughs> we can do wrestling moves as the chicken. Awesome, and also... What? You may you know, try to raid my village, but we have something to feed you. Wet floors. <laughs> okay, we can wall jump as the chicken. It, it really good helium, but I am close. A polo uppercut. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, a new variant? Uh, I guess that one is specifically for chickens. Yeah. Oh, hello again. Chickens used to rule the earth 80 years ago when dinosaurs roamed Mexico. Uh, Our ancestors mastered the polo shot technique used to hunt sharks. Simpler times, traveler. Okay. Remember, thou shalt be the winner winner, and not the chicken dinner. <laughs> okay. So now we have the purple move. I think the chicken pope might have... Uh, might have been pecking the wrong kind of brain. 
Well, here, don't forget. You're in alternate universe at the moment. There we go. But rather, there are multiple universes. So apparently, in this whatever universe he's from, the dinosaur did not die out too long ago. Or he's full of shit. There we go. That's also possible. Oh, let's see. Uh, Pleasure boy. You, you want to read it? You are you are you are a lizard, Rickier. Wet floors are the bane of your existence. All these floors are not wet. Okay. Oh great! Now we're going to have to deal with shielded version. Can it look? Actually, yeah. I haven't been able to use so, the wrestling moves other than the throw so far. Go. There's just something hilarious about a chicken throwing something. <laughs> like a skeleton across the floor. Oh, hello. Oh. Ow. Okay. Ow. Ow. That. Okay, that does Ooh. hurt a lot. Pinata head. They are called Pinata head. <laughs> Makes sense. It's made straight forwards. Uh, let's see. Laser boy. Same difference. We polish them after cleaning them. That's our fifth heart chest. Nope. Oh. Well, you made it out. Countless chickens have gone in there, but you're the first to make it back. I found heads uh, just like this one all around the world. I wonder if anything happens if you explore them all. Okay. New uh, quest. Find <laughs> all the giant chicken heads. And let's see. More health, stamina regen. Yeah, we were going for this one. More gold. Okay. Now we can get through those pesky purple blocks. And there's an area unexplored up there. We can check that out another time. For now, does Flame Face have anything to say to Chicken One? Uh, you're back already? I barely had time to put the place back together. But I suppose Poncho's bones aren't going to break themselves. Let's step inside. <laughs> no reaction to being a chicken at all? There we go. <laughs> I've been calling you a chicken for years. Glad to hear you've been living up to it. Now shake those tail feathers and smack Poncher around a bit. <laughs> <sighs> so he did have a reaction. Here we go. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Did he use Moonwalk? I think he accidentally Moonwalked towards us. Maybe. Uh, how will we... There we go. This next one is a quick one. You'll have to interrupt one power move with another. Okay. Okay. I I would say that was excellent, but I still hate you. <laughs> oh, hello again, Clara. Dude, again, he burned. <laughs> Dude, he burned people alive, and when he met the devil, the devil set his face on fire for forever. Also, the devil is a chicken. Flame face is completely unfazed by you being a chicken. Yeah. Right. Uh, you mean, you, do you mean flame face with that glacier boy? Yeah, Bon Gornio, really? I don't know. I think he meant the skeleton and you were punching up was uh, Michael Jackson. Okay. He was on the moon, the moonwalk. Did you meet the jade skeleton at the temple? 
Yeah, I was actually messing with you before. He's actually a pretty nice guy. We hang out sometimes. I'm going over there for board games later. I think we're going to play Skeletons of Catan. Let's see. Why Moon does that ring a bell? Uh, yeah, he, he, meant, he meant Poncho. Hello again. Welcome back, Luchador. How's your hunt for the relics going? Okay. Juan, you got the relic. Now hurry. You must bring it to our alley... To our al <coughs> To our alley at the Alejibre Alegre in Villa Chula. He'll be waiting for you. Oh. It's meant supposed to be ally instead of alley? Whatever. Though, to get there, you'll need the dash punch ability. And there's only one uh, known dash punch statue left in all of the timelines. We're Chiva from the timeline with all the statues. What? <laughs> yes. Your choose your statue collection contains the only dash punch statue left in all timelines. You will have to uh, let Juan take it. It's for the greater good. What? What? Fine. I guess I can spare one of my statues. It's stored in my basement where I keep a comprehensive Chuzu statue collection. They are still complete in box, sealed and in mint condition. Wash your hands before you enter, alright? <laughs> Open the portal to the timeline with all the statues. <laughs> this guy must have been hoarding them from the multiverse. Uh... I was really concerned, and also, I think I was concerned with Clara. Ron, hurry and find the Dash Barn statue. We cannot afford to waste any more time. And there's uh, Terry Crews goat again. <laughs> I thought they were, they were keeping him quiet, but I thought they were keeping him quiet for a joke later or something where he would talk with a massive accent or something, but no, it, he didn't speak because he'd blow up the room when he speaks. <laughs> You recognize those? Yep, the Metroid statues from the first and... Okay, he made his home at the bottom of a pit, it seems. Nope. Is that it? Yeah, the, the dumbass has filled his place with statues with completely useless abilities. Good posture, keen hindsight, speed reading, clear sinuses, paper cut immunity, that one's actually nice. Stain resistance. Now we see why uh, Clara wrote the way she wrote in chat. Refreshing naps, Midas touch, spray hensile tail, we don't have a tail hork, house plant proficiency, breedable lucidor mask. Perfect name recall. There we go. Well, let's get out before the, he finds out we smashed up everything. Okay. He didn't tell us which one was which. Yep, so it's his own fault. There we go. You're back, one. How did you like my Chuzu statue collection? It is no doubt the largest collection to... Wait a minute. Your breath smells extraordinarily fresh. You blink faster than anyone I have ever met. Is he actually blinking? Did, did you? No. <laughs> My precious. <laughs> Anyways, Juan. Excellent work. Now that you have Dash Punch, take the Jade Relic to our alley. To the alley. To our ally. Yeah. In the Alihibre yeah, Elegre in Villa Chula. Did I actually read it wrong before? 
congrats on your new grabby tail. <clears throat> What's he gonna do if he finds out? No, anyways, unbreak them. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a pretty groundbreaking collection by now. We'll be in touch. Let's see. Can I talk with any of you? Let's see. Hey, one, good job. I figured you might like you know, like some appreciation. Let's see. Nice posture, Lucidor. Oh, God. I wonder what is the actual minimum of breaking them. Yeah, yeah, ally, I was reading it wrong. Phew, I've been feeling sneakily just thinking about the dust from the timeline with all the statues. Go on, bring me some tennis shoes next time you visit. Uh, and here's uh, Amputee Goat. At least now you have Dash Punch. Without his collection, you'd probably be stuck uh, here forever. Oh dear. That's it on chat. There's your boy who is laughing. There's your boy. That is the funniest interaction. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey. Big one? Yeah, do you think they would let a human be a member of the Chicken Illuminati? What's the application process like? Do they have some sort of initiation test? Asking for a friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Try the other one, bird brain. Let's see. Actually, Clara, ally as in friend. Makes sense. She. I can't read this. Clear sinuses, so he can smell each and every one of them in there. Oh. Whew, I guess the town is just overrun with magical goat men now, permanently? Yep, enjoy the smell. Wow, the Jade Relic, it's even more majestic than I imagined. Nothing else? It seems to you way Chivos are going to be here for a while. Well, guess we should make the best of it. Should I cook something? I do like to eat. Try goat. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> At this rate, we'll be able to recover all of the relics in no time and get back to eating garbage. Okay, uh, you have your recipe suggestion there. Just <laughs> anything. Oh, you actually managed to pull it off. Uh, I mean, we knew you could do it all along. Hello. Well, they still make luchadors this small? Uh, and I can just tell from the way you're standing that you wouldn't know a quadruple corkscrew suplex if it landed on your face. <laughs> you may be able to get by now, uh, by for now, just stumbling through brittle skeletons. The guy your size is never gonna hack it in the lucha world without technique. Get to the skill screen and we'll get we'll start training you on your grappling. You've got uh, some catching up to do. Okay, so here's where we get the wrestling moves then. Oh! And... Okay. I have to confess. I saw her I account before we discovered her. And I was wondering... If we were to meet a bear. But no. The... What I thought was be bear is was her... Her... Her hair. <laughs> Let's see, we have the Pile Driver, Suplex, Dust Boot, and the Rocket Kick. Okay, that's a new one. And then just... Capital Letter versions. Oh, oh Dodge an enemy at melee attack to make him grabbable. Okay. Let's see. Oh, oh we don't... Move a Clara. Uh, the guy was saying it would be so dusty in that time. Oh. Yeah, because of all of the statues just gathering dust. Oh, mister, you're back from the Jade <laughs> Temple. Does that mean you met the hum <laughs> enormous, really scary giant skeleton? Oh, was he nice? I want to meet him. <laughs> hey, great job, Gun the Relic. <laughs> Just don't get a big head about it. You don't want to end up like Cabezon? Okay, who is Cabezon? We've got to deliver the relic to our ally in Villachula. Git, Luchador! 
Okay. I thought I grabbed him there, but just a second too late, apparently. Okay. Nothing we can get to up there. Oop. There we go. Okay. You're definitely not the first to assume bear ears. You don't remember Cabazone from the... Oh, him. Yeah, I remember now. Wait, what? Uh, you'll see, though it, it'll be the first time you meet him. It's... Oh, wait. Was he supposed to be one of those extra characters in the special okay. edition we've been to? Maybe. Okay. I was expecting a <clears throat> an arena. Okay, oh, damn it. Luckily, they don't have much health. I thought I saw a fly in my room, but it was just a reflection, I think. <laughs> and I get for getting distracted. Let's see. Okay, we, we need to be in the dead world to progress here. Okay. Did we miss anything? All right. Go, cut you off before you can even try. All right. There are these things again. Oop, oh, God, just short. Okay, there. Much better. And now we these little jackasses. It seems that if you hit them even once whilst they're in the air, they will get stunned for a bit. What are we going to find in Villa Chula around here? And okay, this is extra. Hmm. Oh, oh wait, you can just do this to get through. I got the trick now. There you go. Just remember, Helium. Show some... some oldness. Humility. Before I get Humil humiliated. <laughs> Why there. did that break me? And, and there we go. I just noticed the sign is a sombrero. <laughs> the sign that pops up gives the skeleton a sombrero. Or the skull. Uh, this, this game and its humor, eh? Huh? Hmm. I need to double check. I took a look at the developer a bit back on Steam, and apparently they. They average about four years between each uh, game that they release. They've only released three so far. Uh, technically four if you count uh, Super Turbo Edition and such. Uh, let's see. This level is so spiky it would make a Dark Elder's heart melt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it takes them about four years for each game. Um... Okay, 
We've seen this before. Only in the previous game it was going down. Now where it's upwards. There we go. Easy as can. Oh yes, makes sense considering if you want to take extra time to make the art look good, but also cross as many bugs as possible. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Got them both. There we go. Uh, but yeah, they released their last one some two, three years ago or something. Yeah. I can actually double check right now. Uh, Steam, Guacamele. Their store page and then Drinkbox Studios. Let's see. Yeah, the last game, Nobody Saves the World, was released in 2022. So, yeah, we in about three years, I guess we could expect a new game from them. Maybe a Guacamele 3. Nobody Saves the World? I guess we can take a look at that game sometime. It is a different style, I believe. Uh, but could still be fun. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Hmm. Okay. Avoid the first one. Avoid that one. I like that they play with you actually having to avoid portals at some point. There. And there. And what is... Okay, just a big money... Okay, just a big money box. Okay. Yeah, it'd be helpful, still. Yeah, we can still buy some upgrades with that. There. Actually, can we buy anything... It's probably good if we buy at least one of these. And they are pretty cheap to start. Yeah, just about a thousand each. Uh, let's start with the pile driver. Since that tends to do a lot of damage. Okay. This is new area. Got it. You can go wait downstairs. Holy. Um, okay, this is obviously a challenge for something we don't have. Anything this way that we can deal with. Okay, that connects back to where we've been before. Okay. So, let's just follow the path that we should, and this is probably how we will exit this area. And then we can pick up... Uh, maybe if we get a new move, we can use those flowers. I don't actually remember what is with those. I'm guessing it's some sort of launch. Okay, no page in Illuminati, and hello. You look confused. Have you never heard of me? How absurd. I, Rooster Ramirez, need no introduction. The pride of P.O. City, the golden son of Chickendom. Please, no time for autographs. So, this guy's pretty cocky. Oh, come on. <laughs> the prophecy of the golden egg has brought me here. You have much to learn if the prophecy is to be fulfilled. But who better than I, Rooster Ramirez, built its best trust in high school to teach you the ways of the Golden Egg. You shall be my eager apprentice, young Padawan. Go on and see if the chicken task I've assigned... If the, go and see the chicken task I've assigned you on the skill screen. Uh, we might just see you with a silver medal on your uh, chest before too long. <laughs> Unlikely. 
Okay, what have you here then? Iron Beak to increase packing power. Super Poyo Shot. Increase the power of Poyo Shot. Undiscovered. Okay. And in <laughs> Impact to final. Super moves cause enemies to explode when destroyed. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I, I think we should prioritize these at the moment, since we have the requirements for them. We just need to get 8,000 gold to unlock them. And... Okay, I just noticed these. this requires double the amount of chests to be found. Okay, I overlooked that before. Uh, what's in here? Oh, hello, to status statue. Emerald? Not sure who that could be. Could that be Bane? Or that's an orange block. We can't move to that. I'm pretty sure we can't grab onto those there. Whatever those are. And who is that? The first one. No idea. El Pollo. Gordo? The, the, the engorged chicken, I'm guessing that means. My basket makes a surprisingly effective parasol, which is helpful because it seems like it never stops raining here. <laughs> Double tasking with, multi with, uh, with items. This restaurant is holding its monthly tamal eating uh, contest tonight. Am I competing? You bet your sweet luchador thight. <laughs> thights. Winner gets team 10 free tamales. Wish me luck. Uh... Wait, does that mean that you're paying for each one that you actually eat? Um... Uh, oh, hello. She's the... Oh, no. We never did finish her side quest, but she was making, like, the... <laughs> diabolical enchiladas. Miguel, hurry up. The catering order has to be ready soon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's going in her vision a bit, I'm guessing. Gotta go fist, really? Oh, come on! You should drop by the uh, po Posada if you get a chance. Okay. Pedro's Pinata Palace? Yeah, also... <laughs> oh! The it Luchador a... Pokémon. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, that, that's a, that is an actual Pokémon. <laughs> That is basically a luchador. I think it's flying fighting type. I thought it was ref reference to f uh, me to Captain Falcon or whatever he is named. Mm -hmm. the Falcon Bunch. There might actually be another reference to him somewhere, maybe. Also, really? Oh, come on. Say hello, Flame Face. I own a chain of fighter terms, okay? You're not the only one who gets around. Now come in and learn something before I regret it. And I forgot to turn on no, Do Not Disturb mode again. That's anything new? Okay, let's make the most of that new dash punch of yours. Okay. One, two, three. There. Simple. Okay. Okay, now come the tricky. Oh, now dash on out of here before I change my mind about you. Okay, <laughs> that was pretty easy. Was actually expecting a longer combo to come up. Efficient supplies, okay. We've been thinking about moving out to a smaller town for when the baby arrives. Not that Villa Chula isn't beautiful, we just think we'd like to settle down somewhere, qui somewhere quieter. Somewhere less rainy, probably, as well. I'm going to be playing here with the rest of my band tonight. Will I be seeing you in the audience? Should be a great time. Okay. Maria Scrub. Oh, dear. 
Zico's Chap uh, Chapulines. Oh. If that's a reference, I'm not getting it. Yeah, I'm not getting that one either. Uh, I <laughs> Man, it never. <laughs> now we just start speaking up, speaking up at the same time each time. <laughs> you go ahead. I would say the, the only, I, my weakest guess to what it may be reference is Benjamin Cricket, but that's as a big hesitation. Yeah, he tends to be green as well. And it never it, it's like it never stops raining. I spent like forever making my hair look perfectly disheveled this morning and the rain just smoothed right out. Uh. Oh. Kitty in a mug. Hanging there. Also generic store. Uh, that, that reminds me actually of something. I saw a picture of uh, a few days ago of like absolutely 10 out of 10, 100, you know, 200 IQ uh, <laughs> naming of a restaurant. The, the, the name was literally Thai food near me. So what do people put into <laughs> put into Google when they are looking for a Thai uh, restaurants? Thai food near me. <laughs> So they've, oh. been, they've ensured themselves the top spot on the results every time someone does that near them. Uh. When I was a kid, I didn't expect I'd be playing music you know, for a living. I always thought maybe I'd pilot giant robots and fight huge space monsters. Okay. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. You, you see someone there? Yeah, I'm going back to them on the way back and down. Let's see. Have you heard there's a muscular cat man staying in the posada? Oh, hello. Jaguar Juan or J Jaguar Javier? Ja um. Uh. Uh. Juan, I thought you were dead, buddy. It's me, Cabezon. <laughs> so, this can only mean one thing. You're from a different, from another timeline. I knew things were getting weird around here. I've always been intrigued by the idea of timeline rifts. How do they work? How are they, how are they created? How come they sometimes close immediately after entry, yet other times stay open forever? Seems pretty convenient. In any case, it's great to see you, man. So yeah, what they said about not getting a big head, like Cabazon. <laughs> Yeah, his head must be... Yeah, his head definitely weighs more than his body. <laughs> we Villa Chula towns uh, people are very proud of our tall, beautiful cacti. Don't touch them. No, not because they're delicate or anything. Just razor sharp. <laughs> Good point. Oh, how long was I asleep? I was dreaming about that sacred guacamole. I could really go for some. I can't quite get the recipe right, though. It's always missing that special something. Have you seen any of my brothers? There's a faint family resemblance. If you find any more of us, please wake them up too, so, you can, we, so that we can transport you between us. And maybe ask them about the secret ingredient while you're at it. Wait, no. does that mean... Hmm, sacred guacamole, you say? Well, my secret ingredient is grapefruit juice. Lemon and lime are for cowards. If you're not puckering up, it's not sacred. <laughs> Does that mean that... Okay, the other ones are active. I thought I thought maybe I'd... Since <clears throat> In the first game, since we could just run past them and they'd activate, uh, that that was happening the same here, but yeah, I was fearing that we'd actually have to talk to each of them instead. But okay, we can just go back and get the, their dialogue instead. Let's see. I wonder if there are any new restaurants in town. Hey, does anyone know about any new restaurants? That works. I've been seeing these, pecu <clears throat> these peculiar dark clouds lately. Hopefully it's just weird weather, but I'm having a strange feeling in my gut. Though that may have been the Pepper Emporium. 
I find the rain to be quite refreshing. It's always so hot here. Point. Well, it is a pepper restaurant. And you forget the him. Shame on you. Okay? <laughs> oh. And this one's a double. Is that your? <laughs> It's Gar. It's Garfield, and look who to contact. Schrödinger. Yeah. Known for. What? Schrödinger's cat. Wait, what? Have you never heard of that? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, a lot of most people I know or have heard of Schrodinger's cat at least somewhere, but it's basically the the a sort of quantum physics uh, analogy or so or timeline stuff perhaps as well you know, those often get mixed together, but basically the idea is that if you put a cat in a box with a radioactive element uh, then <clears throat> until you open up the box, it you can't be sure you can't know if the cat is dead or alive, so in that moment, it yeah, it could be either dead or alive. But the moment you you actually ch open up the box and check, that is when you know, and that's uh, yeah, a part with quantum physics. Like it is constantly okay. in flux until you observe it, and then it becomes a con this, uh, a factual constant or something. Okay, I do know this. However, you're mispronouncing it. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, like Lars said, it's, it's quantum stuff, quantum uncertainty. Yeah, I, I will mean, give it lessons. It's pronounced Schrödinger. Most people I hear just call it Schrödinger. The, the, the O there with two dots? That's an uh. That's the name of the letter. But also, that's how we spell island. Uh. With one okay. letter. Uh, have you ever looked at a cactus and wondered. <laughs> What would it be like to hug one? No? Uh, uh, me neither. Please ignore the acupuncture uh, <laughs> signs in my chest. You, you leave the luchador alone? Oh, luchador. Yeah, I'm not seeing a luchador at the moment. Further, further back, further back. Go on. Okay, no, no, continue on. Down, continue downwards. Cross the flowers. Uh, there's a part here. Where, okay, uh, since this is sealed off, I might as well go around asking here. I'm practicing to become a star soccer player. I'd like you to kick this ball around yeah, with me, but I'm nervous you might launch it into space. <laughs> a good chance of that. Let's see, and the kids are too busy playing with their tops. I, I believe that's what those are called, spinning tops. This is my favorite place to think. Yep, hanging out <laughs> near the old dry fountain. Wait, are you telling me that's what Beyblade is based on? Basically. And let's... Oh, here. oh hello! Uh-oh. Welcome to Pedro's Piñata Palace. I'm Pedro and I have a passion for two things. Piñatas and punching. When the two pair, it's perfection. Well, I just look at your physique. It's like something made of, something out of mythology. You were, were possibly made to pop pinatas. Luchido, sir, you must indulge me. Show me what I love to see more than anything. Pop these pinatas. <laughs> okay, someone's getting aroused at all of this. <laughs> Luchador, we share a passion for smashing. Uh, you've made this old man's heart sing. I want you to take what's in this chest. Carry your love for pinatas wherever you go. That's a fancy one. It's like a normal one, but with stickers all over it. What are you? That's fancy to uh, <laughs> you? It's fancier than the other ones. And it's the pinata outfit. Also, uh, anyone who's seen the Lego movie, 
Oh. Uh, Princess Unikitty. <laughs> One little fact. Oh, uh, in, the, in the sequel, uh, Unikitty goes a bit apocalypse mode, and that is the first LEGO set that got me into, well, building LEGO again after years of not. So what <laughs> is this one? This looks totally like it's going a reference or something. It, wait... Is that a FNAF reference to Candy Cadet? Mm. Or a Power Ranger reference to whatever that robot what their UFO head was called? Uh, Alpha 7? Alpha 5? Alpha something. something like... Yeah... Could be him, yeah? They're actually doing a, an anniversary movie for the original Power Rangers, I believe. It looks oh, pretty yeah. fun They're by the trailers, but that's what the trailers are for. My mama and papa want me or my hermana to take over the family business when we grow up. But I don't wanna. When I grow up, I want to be something cool, like a toy maker or a wrestling coach. <laughs> or an alligator. I was about to say, at least she has... <laughs> She, at least she has plausible dreams. This flower shop has been owned and run by my family for four generations. I'm not sure that I want to carry on the family business, but I'm not sure I want to carry on the family business. I kind of hope my little sister will want to take care of it instead. But she keeps making growling noises. <laughs> I think that's a no. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hey, it's kind of nice to see a fellow luchador in town. How about it, bud? Care for a test of strength? You're busy. Maybe some other time then. Then I'd probably launch you into Saturn. Sega Saturn? Maybe. Depends on how old school they are with their entertainment. Hey, whoa there, buddy. Slow down. Are you the luchador that founded Jade Relic? I've been asked to direct you to the Hebrew Alage. It's behind you, up the stairs. Okay, we're starting to wonder when they would block us off. Maria's homemade what? That's a reference. To those granny's uh, recipes or such? Yeah, I feel like it's what a reference to a food brand. Yeah, Maria is a very common uh, name for a lot of Mexican women. So I'm not sure if this one is a reference. Loco Bruce Liquors. Hmm. And something about tequila and Luca. Yeah, the... I swear, when I saw that, I'm first time I misread that to Booba Fight. I thought, wait, what? <laughs> then I saw the face and it started on me. Oh. Oh. It's Booba uh. Fight. This looks pretty cool, if you ask me. I think I can do it. I think there's a reference as well. Not sure. It looks like those uh, punch-out things for when you're making models. A bit without... Well, it's, of course it's going to be connected at some points. I should I should get another model to make some time. Uh-oh. So, the rumors were true. Nope. Hello, Javier. One luchador has returned from the dead. Only this time, fate finds us on the same side, old rival. Hey. <laughs> Schwarzenegger reverence. Hello, You've done Jay well Elon. so far, Juan. I can see you brought the Jade Relic. But we can't celebrate yet. We're facing a very dangerous man, Salvador, whose eyes burn like fire. In this timeline, after Kalaka killed you, Salvador defeated him. Salvador's technique was impeccable, but he was no hero. Darkness is overtaking him, or he is no hero. The Council of Chivos and I are trying to stop him. Salvador is probably looking for the Obsidian Relic as we speak. Go to the Obsidian Temple, through the Badlands to the west. The Obsidian Relic is somewhere inside the temple. KK okay, okay, got it. Okay, not the language I was expecting from an ancient def mask defender. Good luck, Juan, and thank you for delivering the Jade Relic. I promise to keep it safe here. 
right? Oh, my legs? I had an unfortunate skiing accident in the Sierra Monera. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be fighting by your side, mi amigo. Skiing accident? The last one we had talking about a skiing accident was a uh, Volkov in No, <laughs> no One Lives Forever 2. This place is quite the size. I'm just going to take a moment to turn on Do Not Disturb modes. Uh, friends. Front list. And Do Not Disturb. Now, I would really like it if there was some sort of... <laughs> there was a way we could turn on that temporarily. Let's see. That Jaguar Javier turned out to be a real bro, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Error. You look ready. FYI, the Badlands are just west of here. And it's really nice. Why is this bridge, or whatever it is, tilted? I think it's an aqueduct. Yeah, but aqueducts usually don't tilt like that. At least not by the supports. Oh. And now I've got to look it louder, sorry. No problem. Oh dear God! He got eaten by a golden chicken. And yeah, we, we can't turn back into a human form whilst we're in here. It seems. Oh, hello. <laughs> Mind if I just pick your face in? Didn't expect that. Didn't expect what, uh, Clara? <laughs> we, we can all drive skeletons as a chicken hoop. Wrong direction. Let's see. Okay. And there. Simple enough. Again, those things. Now we are turning to the light. Okay. Well, he was. He wasn't really in the dark to begin with. He was basically helping Kalaka because he was threatening uh, Chivo. Hmm. Okay, we can't yeah. cash into this. Lost... And the lost game, he actually did join the good side. Uh... We just left him too wounded to actually be able of any to be of any help. Let's see. Hello again. The true chosen one shows no fear. Throw yourself into danger. You, you show yourself into danger, but will you throw yourself into a wall? I'm kidding. Don't do that. Just pull your shot yourself uh, into the bu those bouncy bumpers. Okay, so that's what they are. <laughs> oh, have it make pinball noises. Have it make pinball noises. Oh, now they're active. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, there, there we go. Wait, we uh, put you laugh. Put a sound on the sound I made. Yeah, the fact that it actually did put in pinball noises. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I made a clip of that. <laughs> Uh, I have played through this game before, but there is so much I've forgotten. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I disagree. Believing Orichivo uh, could be defeated by Kalaka is weakness in itself. Mm. Well, he is a playable character in this. Or a playable costume. Such <laughs> pinball noises. <laughs> I hope expect you to accidentally launch into the phones there. Yeah. Yep, there we go. And watch out for the servitors, or the service calls, or whatever they're supposed to be called. Yeah, they're just flyers, I think it was. I I'm way too easily amused by just pinball noises. <laughs> 
It is one of those classic jokes that haven't gotten old, lucky enough. Yeah. Like, they've been in cartoons since freaking ever. Uh, let's see. That's... Okay. Nothing else. Just get out. Also, how many golden goose or geese must they have for all of this gold? Or are geese just not allowed? <laughs> in the chicken illuminati or whatever. I'm sure. But it could also just be painted gold. True. Or oh, gilded. That's quite a burning heart. Uh, a type of heartburn that isn't bad for you, I guess. My friend Gabriella is buried here. It may sound silly, but I feel her close to me whenever I visit. Oh, oh. nice. I think we know why. Tierra's Malice, Badlands. And Hello. Hmm. Ah, greetings, Juan. I'm a Coco. A, a <laughs> and you uh, will have need of my sorceries. I can teach you to draw greater strengths uh, from your um, special moves. Complete um, the tasks on the skill screen. Yes, and I will show you great power. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Derpy croc. <laughs> Derpy croc. And chickens Uwe do look cool. Does Uwe, is, does Uwe mean something special? Uh, you know what? Time for the Spanish book. Okay. Let's see. And that's our last teacher with a loopy eye. Let's see. Uppercut kills, dash punch kills, two other skills, probably a headbutt and frog slam. And then we have Impacto Final. Super moves cause enemies to explode when destroyed. Okay. And each of these are just upgraded versions. Just increased power and really increased power. Let's see. The Ray Coco uh, costume best costume. We should look around. Yeah, we should take a look at the costumes we have unlocked. Let's see, Tutada, Rechivo, Satabe, Katrina, Piñata, El Portero, Diablo Suit, El Hebre. All of those are locked. And, but there is a costume of them here. Let's, Wait. Let's actually go as Chivo for a moment. Oh, come on! Okay, this is just cruel. Hmm? It's not in the book. The, the, the first book, the first in the U list is U, all right. Then I see Ubrimo and UB. There's a no UA in the book. Okay, uh, maybe try a translator, Google. Let's see. I want to Welcome. turn off my PS4, so that, yeah, I give it up for now. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the Proving Grounds, Juan. If you want in here, you'll have to pay your dues. So, would you like to uh, pay your dues? Yep. Oh. <laughs> okay, DLC. No thanks then. <laughs> okay. I wonder. What are you? No time for KFC. And you are a fire thrower, okay. That's what it says on the tin. Yeah, Alright, the mic does not pick up that sound. Okay. If you're wondering, I was drumming my big, big thick boot near the mic to see if the drumming would be heard. <laughs> but apparently not. Oh dear. And I got not fine. loud. Go. And yeah, it makes sense that he would use his staff for his abilities. Yep. Ow. Yep. 
Wait. but he's just making goat noises all the time. Wait, did, did you change? I did not notice you changed to him. Okay. Can't deal with those. Let's see. Okay, not too much different. Uh, they turn a hip movement into a hip attack. <laughs> yeah, she, she's just doing the peach bomber move. What did you call it? Peach bomber. In, in Smash, Peach has uh, a side smash where she just hip checks someone. And it, I believe it gives off an explosion as well. I, I believe that's called the peach bomber. Oh, that's... I don't know what, I think I know what, the, I think did it to the new knows what they did. But that's a double meeting. Yeah, speaking of Peach, I hear that the Mario movie uh, has, well, mostly, has, has mostly turned out to be as expected. Like, nothing too special, Oop. but it is a nice movie. Oop. Yeah, it seems like Sabersport does not like it, at least for it's on the thumbnail. Okay. Uh, no, uh, I'm a bit confused with the thumbnail as well, so... Oh, hello. I had to watch it later. Go on the luchador. Alive. So it's true. It's me, Shatabe. Yeah, I really have no freaking idea how to actually pronounce that. Shatabe? Tabai? Uh, of course. I know you recognize me. No one ever forgets my beauty. Oh no, this is a new me. Peaceful, mindful. You think things would be great without my ex Kalaka? Yes, I'm single, but. You and I can never be. I'm too much for you. Okay. Follow me. Wait, so in this universe, <laughs> Shatabai and uh, Juan were a thing, maybe? Oh, hello. I commissioned the fall of Kalaka from a local artist. I like how he really captured the suffering. Salvador is the real deal, Juan. His fight with Kalaka, I had never seen such amazing technique. His rooster uppercut could break any shield. But that mask of his, it's killing him. Come, I have something that may help you. Mask? He only, he only seems to be wearing a bandana and some makeup. Is it some sort yeah, of magic paint or something? Also, be careful to fire dragons. I actually think those off. Fairy dragons. Yeah, they are heavies. Oh. You like my Hellehebre sanctuary? They're all rescues, you know. Yeah, you kind oh, of let the right. big one burn. <laughs> oh, do I'd like to think that they rescued me? You'll need this if you intend to take on Salvador. Uh, not again! <laughs> Dimension swap. Uh, let's see, Clara. In this universe, tragedy befell Lupita. Now, we did see their graves back at Juan's house. I don't know if you'll actually stand a chance against him, but I wish you the best luck of luck, Juan. I wonder where Kalaka is now. Does he ever think about me? Hmm. Maybe in this universe? But the other one did not. In the, the universe we were from. Yeah. And... Looky here, Alehebrais are on both dimensions. As well as Sakabai. Yeah, as I said, this was a cute and then the one we met. First yeah. time. <laughs> the big giant motherfucker. 
Let's see. Oh yeah, they, they, you, you all look like that. Hmm. What does it say about her is if she is on both dimensions? That she is both alive and dead? Some sort of... She, she might be a death goddess or something. There we go. Oop. Not exactly how we're supposed to get that, I think. There we go. Now that we can dimension swap, we can add that into the list of movements to mix up with everything else. Oh, that's locked. Now why is that? Oh, that's why that is. Okay. Let's keep that out of our touch. There we go. And there. Okay. Yeah, she was known as a witch. Yeah, she was. Okay. Yeah, she, she, no, she was a, a witch. Good. Get away, man. No! There. Oh. Damn it, just as we come out of the invulnerability there. Up, miss. There we go, not this time. And put you back in the ground. There we go. Let's see, now we can kick their asses. Um, are you sure? Well, they probably don't have much of one left after who knows how many years of decay. But we're going to kick something. The tame bone? <laughs> Let's see. We can't break any of those. Or oh, wait. Gray is... Yeah, gray is dimension block. So we can get through those. What is over this way, then? Where is all of this heading? Oh, that's... Okay, th that's... This is actually the path that we need to take. Okay. I was thinking it's like a big side track thing. Ooh. There we go. Then, of course, one of those stupid things hits me. There we go. Let's and now see. I'm gonna go and refill my glass with a bit more drink. Okay. Get, get more I just realized it's gonna fit in. We playing this. I'm drinking from my skull glass again. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, oh you God. again, huh? The only the lobes. And uh, no, yeah, I'm not kidding. I apparently caught armadillos here. For some reason. Yep, they were in the last game and they remain the same. Armadillo annihilated. Oop. Wrong side one. There we go. And dealt with. Okay. Go through here. There's actually something here. Okay. Up, up. I overlooked the spikes. Up too early. There we go. And there. Okay. Okay, come on. 
there. Okay. There we go. Yeah, this Poirier shot is really good for getting around. I wonder, could we swap... Could we change in mid-air and just combo that to some other move? Yo, I'm back. And I took time to wash this glass mug's original straw and cap. Okay. Apparently, straws is good for your teeth again. Okay. Uh, when I was a kid, there was a big deal that drink with a straw was bad for your teeth. It's almost made me confused on how a straw, be, uh, drink from a straw ruins your teeth. Could be more a thing of chewing on straws or something. Uh, chewing, I would get, but I said drinking with it. But now, uh, from a comment, it seems to be that uh, straws is good for your teeth to drink with. Uh, it's one of those things that is just confusing. Uh, ooh, almost. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Damn it. One too many. Okay. Oh dear. You know what, Jillian? I think I got a better method. Yep. Hmm? I will go and get the cannon. Okay, but the, rep the insurance cost is on you this time. One too many again. This time? Oh yeah, we've been doing uh, many experiments around now. There we go, just for some money. Okay. Yep. Swap the chains perfectly. There we go. And the save. Predictable arena. Oh, oh hello big boy. Ah, uh -oh. And bigger boy. Okay, taking quite a bit of damage from these. Uh, is this oh. one? Morning Star. Okay. This is the big version of those kind of top bit of cacti. There we go. Oh, oh, okay. It'll actually swipe high if you're in the air. Don't think I've ever really seen that, or remember it at least. Right, I off the straw. I did not like drinking with the straw. Okay. You had a bigger target. Yep. And there we go. Okay then. There. Okay. Head thought block on the right, so we had left. Oh, hello. Speaking of heads. Ow. Did I actually miss him there on the second throw? There we go. There we go. Yep. So now you're just camping over there. Okay. Okay, I'll take that instead then. And then I'll come kick your ass down there. 
Okay, that was an interesting thing. I don't think you've ever seen enemies do that with the uh, burning bottles before. Yeah, they, they're new to this one. Like, like, I've seen enemies throw burning bottles in the past. I've never seen them do what he just did. That he just jumped back then through it where he was standing earlier. Yeah. Okay. Time for chicken mode. There we go. I think that gets a little bit more diagonal distance. And hello. Uh-oh. Fine, we'll play along with Salvador's little game for now. But let's not forget that stealing the golden egg is the real goal here. We won't be henchmen for long. I swear upon the cage that once imprisoned me that I will not allow my quest to be compromised. Least of all by the neurotic muscle head. That guy should take a cough drop. Sometimes you are just way too nice. Uh, Cactuardo? Cactuardo? Yeah, Cactuardo. Anyways, I'll sneak uh, through the golden toilets and let you in. Golden toilets. Oh, God. Um, excuse me, can't you see we're plotting here? <laughs> okay, fourth wall gets another crack in it. Then again, I'm pretty uh, sure it's been fully removed by now. Yeah, there wasn't a crack. That wasn't. Someone shot the fourth wall with a cannon. And sold the remains as trinkets. <laughs> what, what is that master plan? Down the golden toilet, version 1.03. Okay. Uh, he lets Cactuardo in, and a bunch of chickens and an egg. Okay. <laughs> Rude eavesdropping. Seems close to sight with... Was that a... Was that a vulture? Uh, I'm not sure. It looked like sort of... Sort of who can? Okay, we, we ha don't have moves to, to get through those. I was say, is that, is that a bird species I've never seen before? Okay. Yeah, that's new. For this game, at least. Yep. There we go. Yep, too early. There. Yep. And back okay. down again. It feels like there's more than one plot in this game at this point. Yep. Was kind of seeing that coming. Okay. And there we go. Or at the very least, the henchmen of the main villain are scheming against them. There we go. Well, uh, I suspect the, the golden sh chicken we found, uh, the golden rooster earlier, might be a rival to the older bird we saw, but he was after the golden egg as well. Yeah. Okay. And then we have the golden chicken illuminati calling you the chosen one. Now we got a chicken poke, or ow, something like that. Or chicken bishop? But really, that just still hit me. Okay, wait like a second before jumping. There. There we go. Yep. Okay, I didn't see that they were actually here. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, yeah, use your special move. Flee on the whole land on. I think uh, it what he says. Wait, what Drakia said where there was basically the flying Dutchman in Dutch. Uh, wait, what? I yeah. said it in Swedish. <laughs> okay. Again, the language is just being so freaking similar. In some places. Oh, fuck. If you're more colorful than you used to be. You look what like... Is more evil looking. 
Yeah, they look like Spike from Friends of His Magic. <laughs> if he were Mexican, if he were a Mexican dragon. Oh, uh, hello. You were Big saying... and ugly. Oh, you you dive bomb. Okay. No, you're not too smart with it. Which is understandable. You keep headbutting the walls. Uh, I think it had happened there was so many times he lost a lot of flesh on his face. Did that fight his con be seeing? Yeah, Triple Carver. Triple Carver get young day. Yeah, they were really annoying in the first game. Ooh yeah. Oh yeah, we know there was a Triple Carver. Remember. Yep. There's just something I ro innately funny about ping pong sounds. Were you about to say ironic? Not sure. Here's another chicken face. Let's see. Goat suckers from Mexican folklore. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, the little fries. Okay. Cats. There's going to be more variety nowadays. Bees, clubs, cacti club. Yep, God damn it. Yep. No time for chicken satay. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Any more? Nope. Inyata. Yep. But. Yeah, if I recall correctly, the chupacabras are basically goat feeding uh, vampire beasts. Yeah. Yep. They were a bit almost alien like in the beginning, but now people suspect they just a dog with a very nasty skin disease. There we but go. honestly, I'm not sure how that explains the weird bite marks and lack of uh, blood. So again, I'm a... Uh, like with most cryptids, I want to believe it, but I'm very careful with the proof given to me. Says I don't like being fooled. Yeah. So, yeah. I take a healthy 50-50 and I also keep trying to keep remember what I often always say in the shows are that it's a theory or hypothesis. They seem sometimes they keep a completely forget what a theory and hypothesis is. is. They all tell they just think, oh, they said that, so it must be true. No, they said it was a theory. Uh, a cryptic theory. I mean. oh, another one of these. Hey, you ever do a Poyo shot and think, why can't I just do another? Another one? Well, guess what? You can! Don't feel bad. It took me a while to think of it, too. <laughs> and now we have double Poyo shots. There we go. A simple little extension, but a very useful one. Since now we can gain double the amount of height. Yep. Okay, there and there. I think we should send one of these kind of chickens over to Glacier Boy. No. But think about it. You might be better than a security dog. I still have about it. There we go. How many people do are actually afraid of roosters? Yep, still got that one. Right yeah, they can be pretty three. vicious little bastards. Oh yeah. Okay, this is I, going to be a bit tricky. I feel like shake the hands and such are often underestimated, but then people forget what a rooster is. Yeah, damn it. And then we also have the one. Dinosaurs and predators are not scary. Birds are not scary. 
And then people Bro. get chased by a goose. Yeah, goose, swans, ostriches, eagles. They can be very angry if you provoke them. Also, I, I like that how in this game, when you kill stuff, it actually leaves a mark on the place as well. I keep forgetting that those explode in the little guys. See? Yep. Yep. Sand still you. Want to peck your eyes out. There we go. Heal! No need to sound like a goat. Yep. Oop. Hmm. Oh, bloody hell. Now I'm stuck with that damn mental image yet again. <laughs> Which one? Uh, somebody faced a YouTuber joked about. Can talk and fry the Gigantoraptor. Uh, you know what a Gigantoraptor is? Uh, a big raptor. Uh, no. Uh, do you know the Ubi Raptor, the one that the egg thief? Yeah. Is that just much bigger? Yeah, okay. Uh, bigger than an Allosaurus big. <laughs> okay, yeah, that is big. Yeah. Okay. So now imagine that. Kentucky Fry Gigantoraptor. Imagine those drumsticks. They'd be bigger than the actual drums. Yeah. I think you could do a blood hack. One leg would probably be a brutal feast for family. No, it's probably feast for an entire party when I think about it. Let's see. Kale. Sorry, I just can't stop talking about it. I even added it to my sacred guacamole. You know about this stuff? It's super healthy, not at all boring, and no one is even a little bit sick of it showing up in everything. Totally sarcastic. Oh. Ooh, what the? Oh. Leafy greens, Luchador, let's roll. Oh. Are, you, are you going to say... Oh, no, you, uh, we missed out on that little thing they said there. Something about kale in other places or something. Yeah. Okay, that's just not surpassable in either world. But we need to get across it. Oh. It would help if I looked further than the length of my own nose. Imagine if elephant... Yes, yeah, sorry to disappoint you, but... Apparently elephants don't taste good. Okay. People have eaten it. But uh, mm. if they could choose so the ends to eat, they would. Yeah, there's no demand for it. Uh, yeah, people tend to don't like it if you kill elephants. Yeah, um, it is it, it is also illegal to hunt them for the meat as well. One thing I am thinking of now that might be interesting to taste at one point. Ostrich. It's basically a giant chicken. Well, they're all ostrich farms, so that, that one is a bit more e impossible to do. Yeah. And people have bought their eggs to make one heck of an omelette. Yeah, and uh, you have your Gallimimus farm <laughs> in Rimworld. Yeah. I, I, I love Rimworld, but sometimes things go under control. I, I always hate myself when I have to slaughter little hatchlings because they're damn things. Breed for, like, I, I only noticed today that one of them, I'm playing with a mod, for clarification, that one of my Gallimimus is, is, is a male, but all the rest, six of them, are female. So yeah, plenty of breeding. I mean, they, when they lay clutches of about half a dozen eggs, yeah, you're going to have an, a, a population explosion. Yeah, I try to sell them to a new family is a lot of account, but... What the heck, they breed faster than I can do that. I'd be horrible each time I have to put them down. 
Uh, by the way, could you link me your mods for RimWorld sometime? I want to try them out. I can I can try to make a list of uh, the ones I'm using somehow. I also okay. want to link. Uh, let's see. Have you heard of Cactuardo, the chicken-eating cactus monster? Oh. He was the result of a dark magic experiment to give consciousness to plants. He was taken to court, but ate his lawyer and escaped. <laughs> You know, roams the Badlands eating chickens. I only have this you know, one chicken left. So sad. Wait, was the chicken the lawyer a chicken? Maybe. Or maybe he was too chicken to take the case on. So that's why he ate him. Okay. Fight? Yep, fight. Oh, not you, stupid things again. Lower! Yep. Get the both of you and plant you back in the ground. Oh no, I just realized you did a pun. What? Right. You've been doing pun even in the last game, I just realized now. You're just planting them back in the ground? Uh, what that too? Smoking over. picking flowers. Uh, uh, it is you. back. We, we talk about dinosaurs and what does up here? Yeah. The armadillos and the chupacabra, and well, also a giant skeleton in the wall that I'm generally just now noticing. Yeah, now you see what I meant. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same one we from the first game, only upsized. Yeah, it, it's the same point. Like, yeah, they have done some tweaking to it, but it's. Pretty much the same. Not too early. Hmm. There we go. I was doing the uppercut too early. Let's see, we are so getting the frog slam here with all of the green blocks. And hello. Something we don't have yet. Okay. So, um, the flowers are with the chicken something then. Okay. That back here, you. Those, those flamethrowers are going to be uh, annoying to deal with. I wanted to pile drive you all the way down this end, but oh well. No. Nope. Oh. Get back in the ground and stay in it. Oop. Yeah. Here we go. Oop. Oop, two of you. Hey, Juan. It's about time you got here. I've been waiting for ages. This head, this skull on my back was a full-sized head by the time I parked my ass here. Let's see, you're the green one? Wait, I thought you had the next statue. Why are you yelling? Oh, oh, the voodoo one. No, I've got frog slam, you've got but something. Well, I ain't going nowhere. Look, guy, are you from the slow timeline or what? Are you from the mean timeline? Yeah, whatever I am. What are you going to do? Cry to your mommy? Maybe I will. Oh. Uh, okay, he has that skill just glued to his hand, it seems, because he's pulling up his loincloth with it. All right, buddy, you better listen up. I don't want to repeat myself. Press down and B in the air to frog slam. Got it? Straight to the point. Yep, for crying out loud. <laughs> in the air to frog slam. <laughs> there we go. Just have... <laughs> Have one's packs got lead the way down. Okay, there's a blue block 
on the right there. And there's also one on to the far here. So which one leads the way forward? Which one is the extra? Yeah, we're the thing to the valley. Yep. Green shields. Great. Uh, slow poke, oh, slow slam. Oh, they slow down the area around them. Uh, what were they called? Slow pokes. Oh. And also, I just remember something else from years ago when I played Ring World. Oh. And they ended up having a repeated thing happen to me with a certain animal in Ring World. Oh. Every time a pack of Yorkshire Terriers joined my colony, without me taming them, without me went. taming them, even when I told them to not go to the kitchen, they went to the kitchen and ate my entire, almost my entire winter supply. Every damn time. And do you know what I had to do? Kill them all. Yeah, I have to kill them and eat them. Oh, oh I actually didn't notice uh, the eagle boost thing there. Holy crap. But yeah, it ended up going so bad, it happens all the time. I end up... If they for force tamed themselves to my colleague, I just... Basically, slaughtered them on the spot. I ended up doing it for... It, it did happen so often that I, I just felt like... I can't trust these dogs. I can't trust. If they come here, I will hunt them. And yeah, then. That happened a lot. The Queen of Britain wants to know your location. I would not be surprised. Okay. Got, yeah. Uh, that over... Uh, that over there is an extra thing. We'll probably get to that some other time. For now, let's focus on this test. Think about it. One river is fun. It gives you plenty of movement to feel vulnerable. There we go. Oh, damn it. Okay, this that one with the two boosts is tricky. Yeah, this is not the time for acupuncture. Acupuncture? What do you say it again? Yeah, there we acupuncture, I think. Oh, there you go. Well, well, well done. <laughs> well go, what? Well goat. <laughs> I just fail at that as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> That's not a goat noise. No, that's a T-Rex that ate a goat. Oh, that gave me an idea. Yeah, damn it. I want to see what happens if we introduce uh, sheep weed to some T-Rexes. And yes, I remembered your advice, Clara, to use the chicken form to break those shields quick. Oh yeah. Uh, again, thank you for the tips, uh, uh, Clara Croft. Clara Croft. <laughs> Croft. <laughs> yep. It's one of those days, ain't it? Yep. I, I caught myself almost saying it repeatedly, you know, I, it actually seemed true. I don't know why my brain was say Clara Croft. Laura's long lost sister. I will not be surprised if there is one. That's a big slow poke. And okay, it only affects us. That is a problem. Lucky it also extends the invincibility window from throws. Oh dear gods. Leave me alone, you big... Ow. Okay, luckily they die in one hit, no matter their size, it seems. 
Let's just get that. Okay, and August. <laughs> it's up that way. Oh, a booty. And big arena. Okay. Oh, come on. Liar and Shibacabras. With shields. Oh, no. Up, ow. Okay, that makes him a bit more annoying than just going back and forth. At least they're in both realms. We don't need to do that. There. Yep. And of course, a big one. In the opposite dimension to that. Up. Okay, I need to keep an eye on my health. There we go. Oh. Multi hit shields. Okay, chicken. And now we wait for this one. Hmm. See, how are we on time? Uh, 20 minutes about still. Just shorts. There. There we go. Yeah. Also, why is the pinata spiky? Good question. Are they trying to discourage you from smashing it? Could be. Yep. Kind of surprised we were still in range for that. Yeah, yeah. Too early. There. Oh, hello there. Oh. Wait, Pack. I thought I smelled damp cabbages, but it's just a washed up old dark lady. You look worse than ever. Now, this is our Chivo. Chivo, my old nemesis slash greatest regret. Just fresh from the hopeless loser timeline. Well, yes, I was just there visiting your mom. <laughs> okay. What do you have with mothers, you old farts? Let's skip the formalities, Chivo. You know how much I love your ugly face, but you already lost this one. Take this as friendly advice. Stay out of my way and you won't get hurt. This time is different. Even with you having died 23 times, 24... You're keeping track. 24, you should know Salvador is playing with too much power. <laughs> and I have and I have front row seats, darling. Let's enjoy the chaos together. You can't possibly tell me you are not a bit curious about witnessing the end of the world. The beginning of a new chapter in the Mexiverse. We're already in a new chapter. This is the sequel. <laughs> You're even crazier than I remember. Crazy like a goat. Oh, and Chivo. Lame Mentor Weekly called. They want to offer you a lifetime subscription booth for being extra lame. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Bad Taste Magazine called and they want to see if you'd like to renew. She can't hear me. Not a word, even? <laughs> Okay, he got so burnt, he was he was silenced. Okay, Obsidian Temple. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, it was you, but it was the Olmec. Uh, my secret guacamole ingredient? Hmm, I guess I would have to say lots of extra cilantro or coriander or Chinese par uh, parsley. It's all the same thing. Wait, there's China in the Mexiverse? 
Sure, it tastes like soap to some people, but to them I say you are not worthy of my guacamole mutants. <laughs> okay, uh, are we going to have the ex luchadors or something? Oh, careful! Don't touch my statue. Oh. I thought that statue was talking first. I'm sorry for snapping at you. I've just been sculpting this thing for days. It's my masterpiece, a tribute to all that is good and just in the world. It represent represents the human spirit prevailing despite these dark times we live in. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Hell. <laughs> Yo. You could probably break it. So, uh, hello. Uh, it looks hungry. You have a, you have one right out here, in the middle of nowhere. Then again, you'd probably like the Badlands. Well, if it isn't one luchador I love to hate, uh, though you would know who, though you know who I love to hate even more than you, Salvador. I was about to, th I thought he was about to say Poncho. <laughs> That hulking specimen disrespected me, and Flameface don't play that. I'm gonna teach you how to cook his ganso. Guessing that means goose. You actually want to teach me this time? I'll teach to be a real slammer jammer. Donkey Kong? Well, Poncho is a bit shaped like Donkey Kong. Uh, oh let's... no! There Damn you! you. Oh, oh no, that was Banana Slammer. Too late, and I have a song stuck in my head. No. Honky Tonk Badonka Donk. <laughs> they have it. Uh, uh, one of the lists is uh, doing like a Donkey Kong. Up. Fox. There we go. And then just get yeah, all the moves. Up too early. Okay. Up, oh, miss. Too late this time. Up, left, and down. There we go. Nicely done. As much as I'd love to admit it. Now get lost. It, it feels weird that. He says all those words while smiling. Stop wasting my time and come back when you have some new power we can work with. <laughs> oh, I see. There we go. Oh, hello. Gulp. Okay, so now we're in the Aetherium. Let's see. Hello there. Again? <laughs> I used to be one of the Obsidian Temple caretakers here with my brother, but ever since I died, I've been doing it alone. I guess dying... I guess dying wasn't that bad of a thing. Now I can sweep the dead world while my brother keeps the living world clean. But you know what they say about clean temples? Nothing! My brother and I are so <laughs> underappreciated. Yeah, janitors are really underappreciated, and you must be the brother. Who are you? I'm the Obsidian Temple Caretaker. My brother used to work here with me, but since he passed away, I've been working here all by myself. I don't know what your plans are here, but don't make a big mess, alright? I've got enough work to do, and I don't need more dirty floors to sweep. <laughs> um... Uh... Allow me to introduce you to Captain Hillian! going to make a mess. Oh, hello there. Salvador, I feel the power of the obsidian. Yes, yes. Who are you calling an amphibian? <laughs> what? Yo, did you say obsidian? So not only is his throat going to hell, his ears are as well. You should get some rest. You should get a rest. <laughs> Uh, keep going at this, and he's going to have a heart arrest. I'm fine. Must be the carnitas I had earlier. Them stuck in there. Maybe try some blasted water, dudes. 
Once we open the gate to Elamot's Ramundo, nothing will stop you. Get me that guacamole. <laughs> what a beautiful day to be evil. This is definitely my most exciting life yet. There's other 24 were basically a wash. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. pretty sure it's supposed to be cats that have multiple lives, not dogs. Let's see. There's some money for us. Oh, hello. That's better. Oh, you again? Oh, no. Vienta, cantan las holas, banal las peras en el peral. Is in peril, I'm guessing that last one is, at the very least. Gira la rosa, rosa del viento, no del rosal. His half goat? Well, yeah. Nubis y nubis flotan dormadias algas del aire. Todo el espacio fuerza de nadie. I'm guessing this is actual Spanish. Yep. Be the wind, my friend. This is double jump. Thank you. I would not be surprised if that's an Easter egg if you translate it from Spanish. Probably. Okay, I, uh, I was wait, just testing. On. We can't double on. jump as chicken. Do you see something weird here? Hmm? Go down. Uh, the fact that the lava is sticking to the ceiling. Or maybe it's going on. Maybe it's not uh, lava, it's actually sticky salsa. Sticky salsa? Yeah. Extra spicy, extra chunky. I know I, know I used to try to encourage you to cook more, but now I'm unsure. Okay, not going that way. Oh, this this like this place looks bad in the dead world. <laughs> oh, hello. Up, down, up, down, up. Okay. They keep they keep things interesting here, don't they? Every temple having its own gimmick. Yeah, yeah, but you think about this, in this, you can see why it took them four years. Yeah, they put in they, a lot of work. Yeah, first they wanna they take a good uh, break. Then they, well, it's not concept and ideas. And then they start to really work on it well and proper. Oh, arena. Oh, hello there. Conquistadores are back. Was, was one of the faces looking sad there whilst I had them grabbed? I think so. Yep. Ah. I think he countered us there. <laughs> okay, they, bo they both look a bit done with it. There we go. Bit something there, probably a spear. Oh Jay. no! Yep. Now I remember a species of goat that have been extinct for a while, but lived in one of the islands near Spain. Um, gotcha, around gets done. Spain, Italy, and Greece. And this goat have a very unique look. No. The eyes were forwards. Okay. Basically, it looks so freaky that it's... Even all three ways, it may have been the damn thing that spawned the myth about satyrs and goatmen. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, now you just get the idea why it looks so freaky. For the people wondering why that would be freaky, uh, most uh, prey species have eyes more set to the sides of the skull, so they have a wider range of vision to see predators coming from, and most predators have eyes facing forwards. Yeah, and, uh, and this goat had them forwards because it had no predators on, its eye on the islands it lived on. Okay. Until humans came. Yep. And yeah, I think this is one of the goat species that got hunted to extinction thanks to early humans. There we go. Oh, hello. Return of the big guy. Or, well, the, the uh -oh. non pinata head pin guy, uh, big guys. Uh, they must look more terrifying. There we go. Rather placid. Yeah. That was its first attack. As we got 100 combos off it. There we go. God damn it. The Cabras and the Slowpoke. Gonna deal with that quick. Hi, 9999. You should put this when we knew we can buy with the coins. Now there is this one here, which needs 750, but we need to find four more chests. Two hearts, two stamina. Oh. Oh. Okay, that, I think that's only our second combat death. Yeah, a time. Okay. One more try, then we probably need to end the stream. Hmm. So we got like. Yeah. Four, three minutes left. Okay. And yeah, As I said, I am... it turned into three minutes. I, I am getting a bit too warm in, in the clothes that I have at the moment. I, I'll have to check the radiator if it's set to high or not. Uh, you, you probably should change them to some different clothes. Uh, wait, 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 what, what are you dressed in? Yeah, only two layers on their shirt and a vest. Uh, and a, I'm not sure what to call it. Actually, uh, Are you wearing a vest? No. Uh, just a decently thick shirt. Uh, probably not with. No, it's, it's not summer yet, anyways. Uh, maybe an. I'd probably call it an autumn shirt. There. You wear two shirts. Uh, you had that, that style in. Over a half a oh, bloody, I know it. Yeah, more than over a decade, I've been not to, had a shirt on top of another shirt. Yeah, an undershirt, so not a full shirt. Yeah, I, I haven't had that in years. The only time, yep. like, I have, I, I, I do use jackets, but for me, it's just pants, then a shirt. Let's see, we need to go. Yeah, we need to set something up in the middle. Hmm. So this is a challenge, I'm presuming. Ow. Yep. Okay, we can steer somewhat in the air. Mostly just sideways to the way that the flow is going. And... There we go. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> All right, that's number nine. And yeah, we a bit less than a minute early, but let's call it here then. Also because nature is starting to call with the bullhorn again. <laughs> okay. Mm. Quite a list of names again, but that I'm seeing in the chat thing, but a lot of those look like bots again, like World of Streamers, World of Chatter, Streamer Social something, and just chat, 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 repeated, repeated multiple times. Okay, I'll, I'll do another bot sweep. I don't know why they are finding the channel again, but for now, that'll be it with Guacamelee 2. So we head on over here.
I close off the game and we head towards Twitch to see who we can go raid. Yeah, I haven't seen any of the bots speak here. Only seen. Yep, there's the timer. Glacier and uh, Clara speak. Yeah, bots don't speak anyways. Most of them don't. The advertising ones, they well, they don't last long any time, since they just get banned anyways. Uh, let's see. Change the screen share to Twitch, and let's have a... No, not that. That's the Vampire Survivors wiki. Let's see. Uh, oh. <clears throat> okay, okay, yeah, I, I, I gotta rush off, so... Uh, Sorry, I'm going to just pick someone and just raid them before... Uh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay, uh, Zeri the Fox, who is streaming Path of Exile. Copy the name. Go to our place, slash raid and paste. And yeah. Uh, tomorrow, maybe a stream, maybe a day off. We'll see. But the day after... Uh, we will likely have another Borderlands stream again. We kind of missed one month with that. And, uh, okay, I really got to rush. So I'm starting to raid now. Uh, yeah, maybe a stream tomorrow. Likely Borderlands the day after. But for now, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Clara and Glacier Boy. And as always, thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And now, hurry over before you explode. <laughs> And yeah, uh, and yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone, and watch out for seagulls.